Man, let's get ready to rumble. And what a way to start off the rumble with the Beast Incarnate, The Rock Lesnar. Let me say it. Let me say it. Let me see what say. The alpha male of our species has arrived. And Brock is going to get ready to go number one. He has to win it. Not only he has to survive against 49 other silver stars to win the inaugural. AEW Never Open World Championship and be the face of AEW Never walking into the draft that is happening soon. I am excited. Brock for the number one in that 50 man Warrior Rumble. Man, this match will be long, but you better enjoy it. Click that like and subscribe. And we're going to find out who number two is. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Could it be? Could it be? Who could it be? I don't know who could it be. I'm Pat McAfee. But oh, baby! Number two is the Ring General. Ladies and gentlemen, if you did not watch Hardcore Holland, it's a spoiler. He was in the 2021 versus the 2022 War Games match. 2022 did win, and then LAX did turn on them. If you did not watch Hardcore Holiday, don't watch this video. Go watch Hardcore Holiday, because you missed so much. Then come back and say what's good to me. But here we are, number two, what there, is walking down the ring slowly, slow, methodical pace from Walter. Could be a good strategy, but the Rumble didn't even start yet. So who knows? Who knows what good strategies are right now? The only strategy I know is, like I said, you better hit that like, subscribe, put on the post notifications. I have back every while. Yeah. Look at that. Look at the beautiful title, the EWE Never Open Weight World Champion. If you win this Rumble, you become the inaugural EWE Never Open Weight Champion. The rules of this match. Um. Oh. I'll explain the rules in a minute. Look at the slow down. Iconic. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Baby. But look at this stare down. Two giants. We know we're going to see this match one day. Because look at these two by Hamas. And what's that? Oh, Brock Lesnar throwing him right into the corner. And boom, look at these punches. These punches throwing Walter off. Walter off his game right now. These punches. Oh, Walter throwing him back into the ropes. Walter said, nah, uh buddy. He said, nay, nay. And he's throwing him right back into the corner. What is going on? Action. It, oh, he went for a chop. He was going for a chop. And a suplex by Brock Lesnar. That's one first suplex of the match. Could be a hundred suplexes. Could be a thousand suplexes. And a chop by Walter. Goodness, that stunned Brock for a good second. Took him out of the comfort zone. And I'm sorry, I need to take a sip of a little bit of a da bobble. Ah, refreshing. And we're going to get number three. And three, two, one. Who will number three be? Bask in his glory. For he is limitless. Limitless. Keith Lee is number three. Three. He was also in the War Games match. Like I said, if you did not watch Hardcore Holiday, you need to watch that pay per view. It was iconic. The first ever AW pay per view in history. Definitely the last. Number three, Keith Lee. This is a big meeting, man. Slapping me opportunity. Oh, look at this stare down. Another dream match. Brock Lesnar to have Walter, Keith Lee, Brock Lesnar, they top. In this rumble, and Keith Lee, he's going for a spirit bomb. Will he hit that spirit bomb? Oh, Walter, what a drop kick! Knocks both of them down. Brock Lesnar, what is Brock Lesnar doing? Oh, it looks like Brock Lesnar got the least of that fall. Walter getting out. Brock Lesnar, oh, and a oh, lariat. Was it a lariat? That was a lariat. He's gonna throw him out the ring. Oh, and Brock Lesnar stays in the ring by a thread. One who looked like one foot was hanging off, but you never know. Oh, and look at that. Keith Lee clobbered him and hit a suplex. Uh oh, Keith Lee going for the top of a moonsault. And Brock Lesnar caught him. Brock Lesnar caught him. F5. Throwing him out the ring. Oh, Keith Lee stays in a little bit. Keith Lee stays in. He's going to pick him up, though. What's he going for? Oh, he's going to throw him like a suplex. Will Walter going back a little bit? What's Walter doing? He's just going to sit back and watch the action. That's a good strategy by Walter. Stay back. Watch all the action that's going to happen. What the? Mm -hmm. You a big boy. I don't know if you can do that. And Brock Lesnar countered it. These three men are already some We're only five minutes into the match. And then four enter in the Royal Rumble match. Shh. 
Shinsuke Nakamura. He just came back fresh from a new Japan match against King Muda. No, I'm sorry, not King Muda. They great Muda. And now he's back in EWE. What was the last we saw? Shinsuke Nakamura. It's been a while, but we're happy to see Nakamura. Ooh. And just a chop to Walter and a drop. Well, not a drop. And a big boo. And now the forearm strikes from Walter. Use our heavenly strikes. I would never want to take a strike on Brock Lesnar. He's chopping him up. Oh, damn, damn, damn. Fight back. Fight back. Fight back. Is what Brock Lesnar is saying. Keith Lee reversed it. Keith Lee and just tackled Brock Lesnar. And now he's doing what Brock Lesnar always did a little two step and a chop from Walter Dodge. Watch this. Get up on a draw kick to the face. Why do I keep saying draw kick? That was a big move. And uh, look at him just stomping out. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I was a second off. And what? Shinsuke. Shinsuke is going to run the ropes. And I go. Oh, and a kick from Walter. What is Big Lee? Big Lee, Keith Lee doing, oh, another power bomb, another reversal by Brock Lesnar to Keith Lee, and Walter looks like he's going to eliminate Shinsuke Nakamura as we get ready for number five in five seconds. Who will number five be? Oh, which LAX member, though? This is interesting. Which LAX member will come out first in the Royal Rumble match? It's Ray Phoenix. Ray Phoenix is coming out number five. The first LAX member to join the match in a Hurricane Rana. And Keith. Oh, not Keith. Oh, Shinsuke. Shinsuke hang on by a thread. Hang on. Both feet not touching the floor. Both feet need to touch the floor to be eliminated. And there he goes. Shinsuke Makamura is the first elimination of the match presented by Walter. Ray Phoenix and Keith Lee both trying to eliminate Brock Lesnar. This would be a huge elimination earlier, but Brock Lesnar stops and just beating the absolute hell out of both these men. <gasps> Flying drop kick by Walter to Ray Phoenix. Ray Phoenix is passed out. And what is Keith Lee doing? Keith Lee trying to eliminate. Oh, but Brock Lesnar stops it. Brock Lesnar going back into the ring. Keith Lee picking up F5 and throwing out the ring. And what is that? Number two? Number two for. No, no, no. Number one. This is for some nation. Because Walter. Yeah, I'll get it. As we get ready for number six, look at that clutch he's in a, in a sense on. Whoa, back to back. Let's go. Oh, number six is none other than Darby Allen. He is a good pick to win this rumble. He has the agility. Sometimes it has the strength to do it, but can he survive in a ring with Brock Lesnar? Number six, Darby Allen. He got a barbed wire back. And it's time to bomb. Damn. Knocked him out. Cold. No, you're not knocking out cold, but you definitely. He felt that. He's going to feel that in the morning. Oh, Darby Allen with these punches. Walter with those elbows and Brock Lesnar go oh and got him for the F5 F5 position F5 and Brock Lesnar instantly he's gonna throw he's gonna just throw Darby out yeah Darby is out the third elimination of the match second for Brock and Walter got suplex Jesus Christ as we get ready for number seven I believe yes number seven in three two one a lot of stack suplex of her who is number seven uh oh, it's a shameful thing. Lobster ham. Ladies are number seven. The Celtic Mario. Sheamus. There's an area of Sheamus. Sending this good to the crowd. Happy to be here, Paul. Oh, oh damn. Brock Lesnar and Sheamus having a stare down. Shame is gonna walk into the ring. Look at this stare down. The big meaty men slap. Oh, Shame's going for perfect. And a suplex by Brock Lesnar. And a chop. Damn. A chop from Walter. And look at these clubbing blows. Oh, Sheamus. He's looking for a bro. Okay, will he hit it? Oh, and he knocked him out. Sheamus. Sheamus. Sheamus gonna put F5 position. F5. Eliminated Sheamus. The third elimination for Brock Lesnar. It is down. We are back. Walter and Brock Lesnar. Ray Phoenix in the corner. Knocked out from that drop kick. Walter did a win. Go. Oh, Walter also taking a chop from Walter. Stunning Brock Lesnar. And a fall with a club. Ray Phoenix is up. Super kick. And a lariat. Oh, didn't knock him out. Took him outside the ring though. As we get ready for number eight. Who will number eight be? Whoa! Oh, whoa! Oh my God! Ladies and gentlemen, E.M.D. We've been with us, E.M.D. has been wrestling since Heat Wave, down in August. E.M.D. has retired, E.M.D. broke his neck, he got the doctor from Johnson 
in 2008. EAT is back. One third of the House of Darkness. EAT. I can't even call the action. EAT. Oh, they're running some stuff. Drop kick. And a uh, tornado gate agent caught a tornado to the team. And looks like he's going for a oh with a power bomb and lifting him up. And a big boo, big knee to the dome. And Brock Lesnar has Walter up for an F5. And Walter, Walter trying to eliminate Brock Lesnar. We're getting number nine sooner or later. Oh, and a move by EAD. Big move. Who is this? One of Two. It could be one of two of the Young Bucks. Who is it going to be? Number nine is going to be... Matt Jackson. There we go. Matt Jackson is coming out. He's going straight after EAD. I don't know what beef they had. They got to have something on Twitter. Something changes Twitter handle or something. Oh, and a knee. And Ray Phoenix and Matt Jackson. Oh, and a super kick to EAD and another super kick drawing up to the floor. And a hit. Oh, and a super kick. Double super kick to Ray Phoenix. Brock Lesnar and Walter fighting the outside. What's going on here? Oh, and a knee. A knee by Brock Lesnar. Did not take Walter out. Walter got knocked out, though. Brock Lesnar. Oh, Matt Jackson was looking for do something effective. He tried to DDT him. And he, whoa. Damn. Did you? Whoa. whoa. And I. Power bomb! Another power bomb! Oh, the low blow by Ray Phoenix! Low blow by Ray Phoenix! EAD! A capitator on Brock Lesnar! That was sick as hell! Big move! A capitator by EAD! And number 10! And we are one fifth through the rumble! That was beautiful by EAD! And another LAX member! Who could it be? Number 10 is going to be. Damn, bro! I guess we'll never know. Oh, it's Ortiz! Number 10 is Ortiz! This is good. LAX has a little bit of an advantage, but not really. Ray Phoenix, is Ray Phoenix knocked out or anything? I don't know, let's see. Yeah, yeah that's super good after out. LAX and House of Darkness. First of all, with Ray Phoenix there. And these men are just baiting the hell. They put in the boots to asses. Sorry, I don't know. I was about to burp and look at that. Airport, I guess you could call that. And a knee to Walter. And a drop kick to Brock Lesnar. And now they're just stomping on Matt Jackson. And a drop kick. Another drop kick. Drop kick in stereo. LAX, man. LAX is a thing of beauty. And a. Whoa, what's Santana go? Ortiz are a cannonball by Ortiz. We are awaiting number 11. Let me take another sip of my broski. Refreshing. Number, oh, ho, ho, this is interesting. Number 11 is a former EWE Royal Rumble winner, Drew McIntyre. He won last year's E Nation Royal Rumble, and he did not win. He was unsuccessful. The last person to beat is in the ring right now. He beat Brock Lesnar. He eliminated Brock Lesnar last two in France until E Nation 3. And now he's staring down the LAX members. And Brock Lesnar looks like he's getting up too. I saw in the back. Looks like they're gonna coexist. Oh wow. They put in salt to the world. Oh, Brock Lesnar! Brock Lesnar eliminated Drew McIntyre! Oh, ho, ho. payback is a bitch, bro. Dang for two seconds. And Brock Lesnar has him up for an F5. And oh F5 on to Ortiz. Brock Lesnar still staring at Drew McIntyre. And oh, oh! Eliminated Walter! EAD eliminated Walter! Already! Oh, the super kick on Matt Jackson! Trying to eliminate it as we get ready for number. Shit! <laughs> I guess we're gonna find out! Who is that gonna be? I think this is number 13. Whoa. Hold on. No way! Hold on, I did not recognize that face, but I think I recognize it now. There's Scarlet, ladies and gentlemen. This is the first debut in 2023 in EWA. Ladies and gentlemen, it is none other than Karrion Cross. Holy shiznit. 
shucky, ducky, can I say that? Will I get annoyed by Booker T? I don't care. Shucky, shucky, quack, quack. Oh, he got him in a cross jacket. He got Brock in a cross jacket. Oh, damn. Damn, damn. Oh, my gosh. Brock fading? Brock is fading. Oh, he got him out for an F5. Got him out for an F5. And boom! And look at that cross hammer to Brock Lesnar. And Santana. Oh! Sayono suplex in the air. And a lariat by Karrion Cross. And we're getting ready for number 14. Matt Jackson trying to eliminate EAD. What is going on? Oh, and Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar trying to eliminate. Oh, carry across. Carry oh, baby. Ladies and number 14. Two thirds of the House of Darkness. Ladies and gentlemen, the current TNT champion. Evil. He just debuted at Harko Hardy, beating Austin Theory for the TNT champion. Becoming the first TNT champion in months. Austin Theory held that title ever since Ethan's 15th annual birthday bash. Oh, and look at that. Evil, evil, oh, and oh, wrap it around. Oh, and a lariat by evil. It is great to see House of Darkness in full force. Yeah, they soak into the glory, but you cannot stay behind it because look, LAX is staring right behind evil and EAD. What is gonna happen? Uh, boy, I've been having a burp for a minute now. Damn. Um, Boy, I'm loose, deuced, and I'm cannabis infused. This is insane. This match has been insane so far. We're just getting started. And EAD, Brock Lesnar, Brock Lesnar, double suplex. Ray Phoenix is not eliminated. He landed on the steel steps. And Brock Lesnar tried to eliminate Ortiz, and he did. He eliminated Ortiz. Ortiz eliminated. And Matt Jackson trying to attack Brock Lesnar, trying to put him in a sleeper hold. Brock Lesnar picks up Matt Jackson, F5, and in a... Oh, oh, there's Nick, there's Nick Jackson. Nick Jackson is not in the rumble. Nick Jackson is not in the rumble. Double super kick by Brock. And Matt Jackson has been eliminated by Brock Lesnar. And we get ready. Number 14, Kofi Kingston. Oh, uh, yeah. Kofi Kingston is known for being a god of all levels. He cannot win, but he can definitely stay alive and roll for a good amount of time. He always finds good ways. And Brock Lesnar, oh, and a boom drop. Oh, Brock Lesnar, Brock Lesnar, can eliminate Kofi instant record time. And look at him, he hangs on. Look at the feet, look at the feet. He has not tossed the floor, he is hanging on. EAD, EAD, Evil and Karen Cross are jumping this man. Damn, fight back, fight back. Kofi Kingston getting up. Kofi picks it, got up. And where is it going for? Where are we starting at the... Oh, the boom drop by Kofi Kingston as we get ready for number 15. Usually, we'll be halfway through a rumble, but we're not even a quarter. Let's see who number 15 is. And ladies and gentlemen, there's another member of LAX. I believe this is either the third or fourth member. Who is it going to be? And it's the leader of LAX, Santana. No, I'm coming in at number 15. It could be a great spot. It could be a bad spot. One of the greatest. EWE Elite Champions of all time, holding for a record 668 days, beating Connor Notorious McGregor for the title. Santana has changed the directory of this match, and he's going right after Kofi Kingston. Ladies and gentlemen, Santana is a legend. He is a legend for the EWE World Title reign. He had over two years of holding that title. Iconic. Beating. He was the first person to beat Conor McGregor, and it was for that title. Conor McGregor held that title for 400 days. Oh, and the teamwork of LAX. Oh, and EAD, not EAD, Evil picks him up. There is EAD. Oh, staring at him. And look at that. Oh, oh, wow. That was beautiful. He jumped off of Evil and went on to EAD. Brock Lesnar, Brock Lesnar eliminated Ray Phoenix in front of Santana as we get ready for number 16. What did we just see? Who is number 16 going to be? Oh, I thought we were just talking about this man. Ladies and gentlemen, Connor Notorious McGregor. And was like, yeah, the greatest, the second longest rating EW Elite Championship runs only at 400 days, not losing a single match until Santana beat him for that title. Conor McGregor is here and he's ready to get some revenge on Santana. Look at that, doing the billion dollar strike. Well, you better keep that dick in your pants. Um, that's not my line. Are you sure? Oh, I don't know, man. That was weird. Anyways, um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Connor McGregor staring at Santana. 
Conor McGregor staring at Santana. What's going on? Brock Lesnar trying to go in. Hey, look at that. Conor McGregor got him in a sleeper hold. How long is it to keep in that sleeper hold? Oh, oh, Brock Lesnar has not been in the UFC in a minute. Conor McGregor fresh out of UFC run again. He left the UA to go back to UFC. And Conor McGregor passed out Brock Lesnar. That is impressive. I've never seen that happen before. And Santana going in. And a suplex by Conor McGregor. Whoa. EAD. And Connor McGregor. Look at the guns on EAD. He is Jack. Gentlemen's Dukes. And EAD throwing Connor McGregor right into the thing. Oh, a carrier cross trying to eliminate. Carrier cross trying to eliminate Evil from behind. And then Connor McGregor, he's pulling the two pieces of a biscuit on him. And he landed the rear winning ready for number 17, I, I believe. Number 17, correct. Number 17. Who will number 17 be? Oh, another member of LAX. It could be one of two people. It could be Eagle or it could be Eddie Kingston. And it is Eagle. Eagle will see from behind. Eagle will see from behind. And he's trying to eliminate Connor McGregor. And he does. Eagle eliminates Connor McGregor. This, he is the club. Oh, and eliminates Kofi Kingston two in a row. And you best believe Santana is impressed by the work of Eagle already. And a boom and a kick to EAD. What is he going for? Oh, and oh, burning. He's going for a burning hammer. First, burning hammer and hammerlock DDT in stereo. Both of their finishers, Eagle and Santana. We do not know who Eagle is, but. He's somebody, apparently. Number 18. Who will it be? Who is this? Oh, sh No way! Ladies and gentlemen, the returning former AWE World Heavyweight Champion, Trey City is here! Where is he? No, I do not believe it. I have to sing it to believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, number 18, Trey City is back. Wow. Oh my God. Santana telling Eagolo to go get Trey City. Trey City punches him, and another punch, and another punch, and one more for good measure, and knocks out Eagolo. And Santana trying to go in there. Oh, it's Santana trying to beat up Trey City. And puts him in the corner, puts him in the corner, and keep throwing these strikes into the chest of Trey City. And he dodged it, and a chop to the back, and a door, oh, a clubbing fist to Santana's face and a knee by Trey City. Trey City was the last time we whoa. This is history. Before E Nation, we had WrestleMania. These men had a match at WrestleMania in one of the most grueling matches I've ever seen. Best friends, former tag team champions, brittle rivals though. I don't think we'll ever see these men like each other ever again, but who will number 19 be? And it is none other. Whoa. Um, Ric Flair, I thought you just had your last match. I don't think this is safe for Richard Fleer. He already, um, this is not safe. This is not safe at all. Why are you out here? For that cheap pop. For the cheap pop he's out here for. I answer my own question. You know who I am? I'm the Nick Chubber. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Why are you out of here, bro? All right, then. Guess we gotta do this the hard way. And a chop by Ric Flair. Oh, this is sad. This is sad. EAD has no remorse for this man. What, what, are, they, what are they staring at? <laughs> EAD, tell him it's all yours. Lost in the city. And an E-capitator combo. And Trey City got the elimination. Ric Flair's been eliminated by the Omegas, maybe? Oh, the Omegas little reunion there for a second. Oh, and EAD trying to eliminate Trey City early in this match. Who will number 20 be? We'll find out in four seconds. He's trying to eliminate Trey City already. Who is number 20? And ladies and gentlemen, if you have never watched New Japan Pro Wrestling, you do not know who this is. Tobo Hiro Ishii has made his debut in EWE. One of the, you know, scariest guys I've kind of ever seen in New Japan. He 
eats chops, he eats power bombs, he eats shots left, right, like it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner combined. Here we are, Tomohiro Ishii staring down with Santana. Look at this stare down. Tomohiro has no fear. And Santana pulls him in a corner. Look at that. And a forearm right to Ishii. I'm sorry, I burped. Oh, look at that. See what I'm talking about? He's eating them. He walked into them. And he's picking them up. Right into him. Oh, Eagle will stop that. Eagle will low blow Tomohiro Ishii. And now they're just gonna go to work on this man. They're gonna go to work. Go for a hammerlock DDT. And Ishii Pat puts him on the ground as we prepare for number 21. 21, can you do something for me? Oh, baby. If you do not know, EWE has our own little developmental. And look at this. One of the rising stars. He is debuting in EWE today. He is known as Blitz. What the f- Yo! Well, you better fix that. You better fix that. I brought you into this company. I can take you out if you don't fix that. Yeah, we gotta change camera angles for a second. Because bro has to fix that. Come on now, let's just get you hyped and everything. Thank you, bro. That's what I was saying. Let's go, bro. That was his little mishap. He's jumping into the ring, double axe handle, and a drop kick right to um, Santana. Another drop kick and a superplex to Trey City. I know that hurt. What's he going for? Oh, he's gonna look like he's gonna pick him up, and he calls that the gigabyte. Oh, and a double drop, oh, a drop kick to the face of EAD. I kind of stunned her there. Oh, with Evil putting the work on Blitz, throwing him to the ground. Number 22 is coming. Coming. Who is this? Oh, man. Claudio! Claudio Castagnoli, free agent of EWE. He was a free agent. He left World Wrestling Entertainment when he went out of business and we took over. And we have never seen him since then. The, the return of Claudio Castagnoli, uppercut Trey City. And he's throwing him on the ground. He's staring at the crowd. It's time for a swing, baby! He's going for a swing. Abel is tasting the swing. You see his shirt. It says just swing it. And Blitz looking at Claudio. And he's taking him for a swing. Everybody gets a swing in this match. Boy, look at this man go. That's funny. This is uncommon. Oh. Oh, and both members of LAX. No way. And he's swinging them too. Let's go. Swinging them into the next entrant. Number 20-something, man. I keep forgetting. Oh. And the last member of LAX, Eddie Kingston, has entered the match after seeing his friends just get swung to death. I would be pretty mad too. Number 23. I keep forgetting the numbers. I'm sorry. Yeah, gonna help you out. Make sure I'm, you know, I'm doing well. 23. Oh, and these men have history and a punches and an uppercut. Punches, uppercut. But no, L, these men are going back and forth. These men are going back and forth. They do not care. An uppercut. Three uppercuts. Four. Oh my god. Multiple uppercuts in a row. And a Eurekin. Eurekin knocks out Claudio and Eddie Kingston picking him up and throwing him. Looks like out the ring. Oh, wait. I think he stayed in. He stayed in. He did. And another Eurekin. Oh, and he dodged it. Eagle Low kicked him out. And a drop kick eliminated. A drop kick. A big boot, man. Get your head out of your ass. A big boot to Claudio eliminating. The returning Claudio Castagnoli at a Kingston. Who will be number 25? Who is this? Who could this possibly be? Eight mile ending. S O Dima. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know this man. I know this man! S O D, one of my longtime friends, has entered the AWE Royal Rumble. He is here. He's a man. Number 24, S O D, and right going right after Santana, and going right after Eagle O. 
And we'll go in right after Eddie kicks it. Code red by S.O. Dima. This man's a big boy. Brock Lesnar coming back in the ring. Brock Lesnar coming back in the ring. S.O. Dima eliminates Brock Lesnar. So, Dima, I know you just made your, de your debut, but you might want to leave the ring, buddy. Because a Punjabi giant, the Punjabi machine, the Punjabi playboy is here. Look at the size of that smile. The entire ring has stopped. Who is going to eliminate the great Kali? So, Dima, oh, and Trey said he got wanked. Wangs. Oh, and Bliss trying to uh, a sleeper hold to the Great Khali. He's trying to eliminate Great Khali on throwing some into the ring post. Bam. And Great Khali again. Oh, and a chop right to the face of Dima. And a headbutt. No, not to Dima, to Blitz. Speed of Dima, speed of Dima, Dima, EAD, Blitz. And who else? Santana. They're all trying to eliminate the great Kali. Blitz might eliminate himself. Trying to eliminate him. Both feet are in the air right now for Blitz. Blitz trying to eliminate himself. Oh, oh, snap. No way. Is he hanging on? How is he hanging on? How is he hanging on? He didn't hang on much longer. The great Kali is eliminated. And now we approach number 26 in the EW Royal Rumble. And no other way. And it's Kevin Owens. I know Kevin Owens is still mad about Eddie Kingston turning on their team in War Games to join LAX. It was after War Games, but still. And Kevin Owens, yeah, he's fired up. He's rushing right to Eddie Kingston. They're going out the ring. Oh, both feet. They went through the middle ropes, so they're not limited anyway. So it does not matter. Oh, and Eddie Kingston and Kevin Owens, they're going back and forth, back and forth. Oh. And Kevin Owens looks like he's trying to go for an apron powerbomb. Oh, and Eagle came from the back, and he's trying to he's put him in a sleeper hold. Uh-oh. And a Eureka by Kevin Owens. I'm like, two Kevin Owens. I'm Botchamania. And now, number 27, the most likely to always win a Royal Rumble. The most Royal Rumble wins came from this number. Who is number 27? from this number if this is true ladies and gentlemen straight off a christmas tree match with the miz it is john cena oh yeah oh baby john cena c nation stand up number 27 is running through the ring right now and john cena with the patented five moves do the short attacker el eagolo eagolo gonna eliminate oh Eddie Kingston trying to go for an A. And an AA to Eddie Kingston by John Cena. And a double five knuckle shuffle. He's going for the 10 knuckle shuffle. He jerks off and my deck straight ass. This is crazy. This is crazy. John Cena going right after a blitz. EAD barely hanging on. You can see from the back. And Kevin Owens going for a power bomb. Power bomb. Cannonball. Oh, it was Tomo. Oh, John Cena just eliminated Tomo Ishii with ease. And we are approaching number 28 in the Royal Rumble match. Who will it be? Whoa! Toronto and EAD eliminates Dom Toronto. 
Damn it! I can't watch the game. He's fucking sucked. John Cena just staring at me. Go back to making the pass of fire. We know who you really are. You're a dumb Toretto. Oh, fuck you! Oh, it's number 29. It is the man that evil beats. A town down, Austin Theory. This could be a career changer if he lost the TNT Championship and went into the world title division like that. Only one person has been able to accomplish that, and that was Jake Hager. When Jake Hager lost the TNT Championship to Hulk Hogan, he went to the main event picture instantly. And look at that, and a Evil Valley Driver by Evil. And there we go. Theory eliminated just like that as we wait for number 30. I honestly, I hope for the kid, but I was wrong. I spoke too soon. Who is number 30? We would usually be done by now. And ladies and gentlemen, the jobber killer, Randy Orton. He was the legend killer. He became a legend and he is the jobber killer. He won the Deadly Games at Hardcore Holiday, making him the current Tag Team Champion with Batista in Evolution. Here we go, Randy Orton making a slow, methodical snake way to the ring. I'm glad he got those stitches on because, boy, he was bleeding in that Deadly Games match. He's walking in the ring, and an RKO to Evil. And what's going on for Kevin Owens? RKO to Kevin Owens. Oh, an uppercut from S.O. Dima to Randy Orton. And he moves so RKO! RKO to Dima! And both kind of go on the attack to Randy Orton. And how's that going, buddy? And it's all actually going well. Oh, and that got to hurt his back. And a drop kick. And look at that. Knocked him down. Randy Orton. Randy Orton's in this scary place right now. He's running. And a power bomb to S.O. Dima as we wait for number 31. We have 19 entrants left in this Royal Rumble match. And who is? It's the game! Triple H, he just returned last night on Hardcore Holiday to join Shawn Michaels and D-Generation X. Triple H, the game is here. Let's see what he will pull. Pull off. Oh, and Randy Orton staring down. Randy Orton for the RKO. And a suplex by Randy Orton. Suplex, Triple H. Oh, and they're running. They're running the ropes. And Randy Orton can hit with an AA and eliminated by John Cena. And Triple H eliminates John Cena. Telling both of them to suck it. Oh, God. Oh, when I. And I drop. Oh, what's. Ooh, and a buckle bomb and a clothesline to SO Dima. What's he trying to do? Oh, and Dima dodged it. And a senton by Trey City. So I believe that was evil. I can't remember. Yeah, it was evil. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. And we are approaching number 33. Who will number 33 be? Oh, KO knows a lot about this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, Sammy Zayn is here. And Sammy Zayn with a new look. We haven't seen Sami Zayn in a while. And he got the long hair. He got the eyes. If you get a hair replacement, I'll buy. Yes, I'm talking about my teacher. And these men are going straight after each other. Oh, and a blue thunder bomb by Sami Zayn to Kevin Owens. And Kevin Owens is getting looked at by Sami Zayn. And he's going for a Hullover kick connected. And that's not it. And and there goes Kevin Owens. And over. He's alive! He's alive! If you do not remember. If you do not remember what occurred at Hardcore Holiday. He basically got trapped in the Deadly Games the entire pay-per-view. He was second on the card. He got trapped in the Deadly Games. And what's going on? And a Canadian Destroyer to Dima by Rey Mysterio. And boom. Oh, he's going out and he's going to drop Hurricane Rana by Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio, he's telling everybody he is alive, well, and kicking still from that incident at 
Hardcore Holiday in the next entrance into the Royal Rumble is... Uh oh. Uh oh. Rey Mysterio, I got a few words to say to you. You are supposed to be my friend! But, ladies and gentlemen, number 30. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck! What's the number? The number didn't pop up there. Because, um, our shit camera crew, I'm sorry. I believe we are number 35 in the Rumble. My apologies, we are number 34, I'm sorry for that. We are number 34 in the Rumble. And Triple H gets thrown, and boom, three eliminations back to back to back by Batista, the animal. Also, one half of the tag team champions, Randy Orton got eliminated, so you're always furious about that. As we wait for number 35, there we go. Who will number 35 be? Oh, hell yeah. If you do not remember Ethan's 15th annual birthday bash, these men were supposed to fight. Kenny Omega got squashed on purpose and they reenacted exactly what happened. This could be eliminated just as quick. Oh, and oh my god, land on the neck. Frog splash by Bliss. Bliss came out of nowhere to frog splash. He's gonna put him in a corner. Dima, Dima, oh! And a V trigger by Kenny Omega! And what's he doing? And he's going for a snake eyes into the corner. And Dima picking him up, picking him up, Blitz with a bicycle kick to the gut. And eliminates Batista as we approach number 36 into the Rumble. Who will number 36 be? Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, number 36 is none other than Adam Cole. You know it's all about the boom. Oh my god. History, baby. History, baby. Adam Cole and the baby. Adam Cole is number 36. And Kenny Omega is so happy. And ready for this. Adam Cole, baby. Adam Cole is an EWE debut. Eddie King, number Eddie King, look at the match. Eliminates, eliminates him, and then he kicks him with a DDT right to Adam Cole as he walks into the ring. And Adam Cole, super kick to Eddie Kingston, and Adam Cole going for a last shot right to Eddie Kingston's dome, and a bicycle kick to S.O. Dima. Oh, you already know. And he going for a Panama Sunrise, oh, Alabama Slava into the corner in an uppercut. Oh my god, I would never. Oh my god, my back hurts just thinking about that. And as we approach number 37 in the Royal Rumble match, it is an impressive match. Oh, here we go. The almighty Bobby Lashley. As I was saying, EAD has been the most impressive in this match so far. He entered at number 8, and we have just hit 37. And right into a heart lock by the almighty Bobby Lashley to S.O.D. I might knock the bro out. Mm-mm. I guess we don't know. My voice is getting a little hoarse, by the way. I might, I might gotta start doing, I might gotta do some cardio after this. Actually, I might kind of, oh, 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 oh my God, calm down. Uh, former, former TNT champion. Enzo Amore is back. Oh god, number 38 is this jump It's like, I don't like this guy. And you can see why. Look at this guy. Look at this, look at this guy, look at this, look at this idiot. Oh my god, what's the problem with bro? Let's do this shit, let's do this shit right now. And yeah, that's what he deserved. That's what he deserved. That's what he deserved, and he's out of here. He's out of here. Enzo Amore is out of here. As we wait for number 39 in this Rumble match. We are almost four-fifths on the way for the Rumble. If you guys have been enjoying so far, give me a like so far. And baby, here we go. Call the fashion popo because this guy is about to go again. It is Tyler Breeze. Taking Breeze with time with Tyler Breeze. 
where is this man? Oh, oh, oh he's supposed to get out. This is the second time it's happened with this match. In the world. It's Hello Breeze. It is 100% effective, right? Tyler Breeze has eliminated the all right Bobby Lashley. An impressive showing as we approach number 40. Shall we piss to Bobby? You're staring at the title as Tyler Breeze is taunting in your face. Where? Who will be number four? He just took out Evil. Look at his stare down. Oh, he, 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 Matt Hardy had a stare down. And Eddie Kings has been eliminated by Matt Hardy, and they're back to having a stare down. You got a staring problem, buddy? You got a staring problem, buddy? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, SLD, we're trying to eliminate Blitz. Trying to eliminate Blitz. Will they get the elimination as we approach number 41 in the Royal Rumble? Nine entries to go. Who will win the Rumble in a twist of fate? Right. Some EA Dear. Who. Oh God. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, if you thought Matt Hardy was gone for long, Jeff Hardy is back. We have not seen this man since E Nation 1, where he lost to Kenny Omega. In the main event of A Nation One, ladies and gentlemen, he was the first ever EWE Royal Rumble winner. What is going on? The roof has been blown off. He is absolute. And Matt Hardy could not be happier. What is going on? On and the Omegas, EAD and Trey City eliminated each other. They eliminated him. Oh God! Trey City wants a hug. Former Omega members and Evil is staring on. EAD has to make a harsh choice. And EAD, oh, Evil got him in a sleeper hold. Evil got him in a sleeper hold. Look at EAD staring at Trey City's hand. He's asking for help. He is asking for help. Do it, EAD. God damn it, do it. Help your brother out. Help your brother out! And he did it, and Trey City is passed out. Help your brother out, you sick bitch! Help him out! What are you doing? Eliminate him, EAD. And now he can look at me. To eliminate his Eliminate brother. him. Throw him out yourself. You disobey, Mr. Kuiji. Did you hear what I say? Throw him out. As we approach this number, Adam Rose. Adam Rose. They're just staring at each other this entire time. Adam Rose running to the ring and gets quickly eliminated. And this now this stare down is still happening. I tell you, Ethan, pick this man up and throw him over the top rope. There will be repercussions. Symbol of friendship, EAD, come on, please. Oh, he's lifeless right now. Come on, EAD. Don't do this. He's staring at Abel. He knows what's best, and he drops Trey City, eliminating him. And ladies and gentlemen, number 43 is coming out. God damn it, EAD. Who will be number 43 in the rubble? And ladies and gentlemen, it is the rated R superstar. And a spear by Edge. And EAD still shocked at what happened. Oh, whoa, 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 what's going on here? Oh, and an elbow to the face. I uh, knocked Edge out on the ground. Oh! No, that's no, that's no, that would end in his career. Stop it, stop it, stop it. He's lost control. He's lost control. I'm scared over here. Who is number 44? Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god! The Undertaker! The Undertaker is back in E double What is he doing? Oh my god. 
Hysteria Evil, what is going on? And a choke slam to AAD. What is going on? And eliminates AAD and Trace City. Comforting the man who just eliminated him and took the title opportunity away. Oh, the lights went out. Oh, man. And you come back. And these are the only two men in the ring. Number 45 awaits. And ladies and gentlemen, can't even get excited that much. It's Bane, DC superhero. Superhero, well, right now he's gotta be a superhero. Super villain, Bane. Wow. Just Undertaker. What is evil thinking in his mind right now? Oh, Bane, come on, Bane. There's not even a chance. Just go back. I know you're a super villain, but Undertaker is a dead man walking in a punch right to the face. And Undertaker quickly took care of business as we approach number 46. What a rumble this has been. I hope you all have enjoyed this rumble. Who is number 46? And it is none. Oh shit, you're gonna die, bro. This man's gonna die. Number 46 is Gentleman Jack Gallagher. And you can tell he's usually a happy guy. He is scared shitless. Look at him, he does not want to enter that ring. He is staring down evil and Undertaker right now, not knowing what to do. What does he have to do? Torpedo headbutt! Torpedo headbutt to Undertaker, and he's rolling. Oh my god, I thought he had it. And he got eliminated by the Undertaker. He had a torpedo headbutt for a split second. I thought he may have just eliminated Evil and the Undertaker as we approach number 47 in the Royal Rumble match. Who is it gonna be? Our saving grace right here. This is our saving grace right here. Ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Guerrero is our saving grace. If anyone can do it, it is Mr. Lie, Cheat, and Steal, Eddie Guerrero. It's about time he's going to step into a gangster lead. And he's going to eliminate Undertaker and Evil right here in front of us in the AWE Arena. You got this, Eddie. Come on. Come on, Eddie. Monday, you need to walk into that ring and you better clean house. I know you can do it. I know you're gonna clean house. Come on, Eddie. Eddie there. Eddie's staring down Undertaker and Evil right now. It looks like he's gonna wait it out until the next entry comes. That's I mean that's not a bad idea, but this is a stare down I will be scared of. I think he's waiting until a new engine comes for some backup that is a smart move on eddie guerrero's part and as this true he's waiting six five four three who is number 48 in the royal rumble match oh he got oh. What? What? ladies and gentlemen number 48 is a rattle skin he got one ten of whoop ass for two people. It is a table for two, table for three. If you are counting the chair, let's get to business. And a chair shot to Undertaker. And Eddie Guerrero is taking it to evil right now. Come on, if anyone's going to do it. Oh, Undertaker's busted open. And a stone cold star to the Undertaker. And Eddie Guerrero got the elimination. No, oh, stone cold eliminated Eddie. He eliminated Eddie. Whoa. Why would you do that? I mean, he did take out the biggest threat. Who will be number 49? We have no time to waste. Who is it going to be? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's Ladies and gentlemen, it's Dwayne. It's about drive. It's about power. We stay hungry. We devour. Ladies and gentlemen, number 49 is the lock. It's so Oh, and he, oh, 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 oh,
Evil champion number 13. He's a TNT champion. He could be dual EWE champion. Oh, he got knocked down. And a spine buster to Evil. Uh oh. And he's going. It looks like he's setting up for the most electrifying. <laughs> Stone Cold got hit. The most electrifying move in sports entertainment history. The People's Elbow. And he's got to rock us straight back up. And he's set it up in position for the rock bottom. You know damn well what's going to happen. Let's go. Evil is going to get hit with a rock bottom. Maybe. Oh, never mind. Never mind. He's going to throw him out the ring. And we are down to Stone Cold and the Rock. And number 50. These are the final three. We don't even know who number 50 is right now. But we know who the last two are. Until come out. Look at this iconic stare down. And a rock bottom by the Rock. And the Rock throws out Stone Cold. Bottom two. Rock and number 50. Who is number 50? The Rock is staring. Who is it going to be? Who is going to be number 50 to take on The Rock in this Royal? No, Roman, Roman. Why would that man play games with oh me? Oh, my God. If you do not remember, he got screwed out of the title match at Harkle Holiday. Rock left him, so he delivered payback. There's nobody in the ring. Who is number 50 and the winner of the Royal Rumble match? Who is it going to be? Oh, my God. I've heard. <laughs> no way. No way. If you did not watch Hardcore Holiday. Oh, my God. No. 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 This is not great. This is not great. This is not. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Please don't, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. Fuck. No. Fuck. No. 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 No, no. No. Fuck. Son of a. This bastard. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen. The winner of the Royal Rumble match with a whopping zero eliminations in the inaugural EWE Never Open Weight World Champion and main eventing E Nation 4 Maxwell Jacob 